Hello everybody, I just want to show you the latest project that I've just finished. I used Graphic 45's Master Detective. I've got seven full sheets left. A few of these bigger pieces left and some smaller pieces. So I think I'll probably make one of Paul Ford's wallet albums because that those papers would look nice in that. This is what I've done. It's a chest, you can see. It's got a top layer, a middle layer, two drawers, and then that's the album. So I'll just let you see around it. It's got a handle on the side and who done it there and the skulls there. And the back has got two hinges there and two inches there. And then this side, put it in line, has got another handle. So, right. I just put the cover like that because I never put um, flowers and things on. Well, very rare. I let that paper speak for itself. So let's open up the lid. That's inside the cover. You can store some more bits in there. Now, in the tutorial that I followed, which was Scrap Queen's Sherlock Holmes tutorial from a couple of years ago, I enlarged this next part of the box. I made it wider, taller, because I wanted to be able to put Sherlock Holmes pipe in there. I thought it was a bit of fun and I liked that. So inside here is just a little booklet for you to put um, jottings down or if you want to put photos in there you can or bits of journaling. So that goes into there and it's got plenty of room to add other things in there. You could keep your lo loose photos in there till you're ready for them. So the second part, which is these, opens up just the same. That's the base of that box. And in this, I've got a notebook to write down its clues <laughs> and a magnifying glass. I just thought that went quite nicely inside the box. Again, you can put photos in there and other things. Of course, there's plenty of space. Clip that down. And then we go on to the drawers. Well, I haven't put anything into the drawers. I did think I might put another couple of um, little notepads in there, but then I forgot. But you could put tags in there, ready for whoever gets it, to pop the tags in where they want them to sit inside the album. And then the very bottom here is where the album sits. And that just comes out. So I'll put that up there. And this is the album. I just need to adjust. Sorry, sorry. I'm not very good at this, am I? So, <laughs> sorry about that. Putting my hand on it. So this is the cover. I've kept it very plain because it's going to slide into that drawer. And that's the back. And the spider's on the spine. So this is the first page. And what you've got here is Sherlock Holmes base coat, which I think is absolutely adorable. So you've got his pocket watch, which is keeping it, helping keep it closed. So you can take it out of his pocket. You can lift that part up and then just open it up. And you've got areas for journal in there and you can put photos over the top of these pictures quite nicely. So I'm just going to pop that all back together. It does have, I'm just going to move you. Sorry about this, but it's slipping for some reason. Right, it does have space in the top here for you to put a tag second page. This is like a suitcase as you can see there and you can put a photo flat on the back if you want or I've made a tag that you can put photos to so that fits in there quite nicely. Now this page here you can put photos in this slot, open it up and you can put photos in the middle. 
here you've got a good area, the middle and then the bottom. So there's plenty of spaces for everything you want to put in there. So that helps keep it closed. And if you've got quite a few photos in there, you just pop that in there. And then this, these two pages are quite plain and they're ready for photos. Now, I've taken these out actually. I shouldn't have, but I, I've already, I've recorded this twice. I made mistakes twice, so this is my third go. So these are out of the top pockets. This one here has got a good area again and you can fit inside here. This one has the belly band and it takes a good size photo that you can put in there. Now, let me show you so that you can see a tag fits in here. Take it out for now. And this page here, you've got a tag can fit down the bottom here, all photos, and you've also got a little tuck spot hiding here inside that is split across there so that you can put yet more into there. And then this page here, you've got open it up, and we've got a good area here for photos, pocket and a good area there for a photo and you could put a little photo up there or some journaling, whichever you prefer. And this one just winds back around like so. There we are. Open that up. This page you've got a mosaic type here, a collage type, so you can just pop photos wherever you want to and you've got some background. Here you've got a nice picture area that you can put there and this tag just slips inside, so you can put two or three tags and still put some journaling there. This one here has got a belly band that goes two ways. This is six by four, and it fits in here nicely. You could fit a five by seven, but I just popped that size in there for now. And then that, no, not that one. This one also, you can fit one of these in. Three of them, you can fit your tags in the top, but I've taken them all out and forgot to put them in before I had another go at filming for you, <laughs> honestly. Right, so we move Mary out of the way. She just slides across and then you can open that up. Good photo area there and the background and you can put a tag in there and again, you've got there. So this is just slides in. And if you can't get it to slide in, it's very easy. You could just put one side in and then the other, and it will still slide and hold flat. But I prefer to just slide it through like that, and it sits better as you can see. Right, this page here, you've got a, a, an area here for photos, a little tuck spot. And when you go inside, you've got a tuck spot here and you can put a big photo there if you want or several small ones. The same here, it tucks up underneath there. But at the bottom, you've got two little page, two little pockets that you can put tags in so that's quite cute so this one like that it folds flat as you can see but if you've added more photos and it's getting a little bit bulky just use that over the top and keep your page down easy this side here is a side pocket so you just you can fit whatever you like along there more space for photos. And then this one here, I've just cut across the top of each of these so that they become pockets and you can pop a little tag inside. You could type or write on them, you know, journaling, etc., and pop it in there. And then, oh, 
sorry, it's come open. There we are. This is the last page. So that's the back cover again. This little pen goes down there and you open and you open. So you've got space again for more photos. And I do like this, I must admit. I, I like this paper, it's been nice to work with. So that's the album. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to put it back in here. And as I say, there we are. Um, the tutorial is by Scrap Queen. It was about two years ago and she used her own designer papers, Sherlock Holmes designer papers, and it's well worth a look. I'm not sure what I'm going to make next because I never know. It's something that takes my eye and I've got to give it a go. And as you know, those of you that have been with me for a little while, I always try to use what papers I've got already because I've got quite a few papers and I like to make it my aim to use what I've got. So if the papers are different to what the person in the tutorial has used, um, you can see what it looks like in a different type of paper. Thank you very much. Sorry I've stumbled a bit with this video, but uh, I'm not good at doing this part of it. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye.